is as long as your children are in your home, they are under your authority. You are responsible for what takes place in your home. Mm -hmm. And so you're not doing anything wrong to require your children to be with you in worship. Well, welcome again to another episode of the Straight Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Philpot. We'd really like for you to join us in this conversation. So as you have questions or concerns or maybe topics you'd like to propose, just leave that in the comments section or send us an email. Now remember, Straight Truth is a listener-supported podcast. So if you'd like more information about how you can help us produce this podcast week after week, just go to our website, straighttruth.net. Well, this next question is submitted by a listener and has to do with teenagers and and getting them to come to church on Sundays. So it goes like this. My teenager refuses to come to church on Sunday saying that her relationship with God is personal and that she doesn't need to go to church to be a Christian. And maybe more broadly conceived here is the question, how do you bring children in rebellion under your authority? Maybe you've failed to do that when they're younger and now you're trying to do that now. So their question is how old is too old to force your children to go to church? Two things come to mind as I hear the question. One is, I would really aim at explaining the gospel clearly to that young person. Mm -hmm. Because, and I forget in the question, is is it a male or female? It seems like a female. Female. So your daughter is using language that that reveals a lack of understanding of the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my relationship with God is personal in nature. Well, uh, that's not true. That's not true. It is true, I guess, in the sense that we each individually come to faith in, in, in Christ, and in that sense we have a personal relationship with God. But nowhere in the Word of God do we see people living this private, secretive, nobody knows but me, nobody should ask any questions but me, nobody should care but me kind of relationship with God. That is nowhere in the Word of God. The second one is, I don't have to go to church to be a Christian. Well, it's true to say that going to church doesn't make you a Christian. But nowhere in the New Testament do you find Christians who have no relationship to the Lord's church. Mm -hmm. On the day of Pentecost, when thousands of people came to faith in Christ, the language used in Acts chapter 2 is that they were added to their number. Mm -hmm. So, So immediately when I come to faith in Christ, I am added to the number of the Lord's disciples. I take my place in the family of God, and not just the family of God universal, you know, that, that, um, is spiritual in nature in terms of how it's accounted. We have people in heaven who belong to that group. But no, what he's talking about is the, the people of God on earth, the people of God manifest, the people of God who organize together to carry out the Great Commission and gather together to worship. You add, you're you added to that number when you come to faith in Jesus. So I would take this young girl and, and, and talk to her about the gospel. Do you know what it means to be a Christian? Hmm. Then when we think about the, the question of church attendance and what I require of my children? Uh, The answer is, as long as your children are in your home, they are under your authority. You are responsible for what takes place in your home. Mm -hmm. And so you're not doing anything wrong to require your children to be with you in worship. You say, well, at what age should I stop doing that? My answer is at the age when they are out of your home. Mm -hmm. So as long as they come under your, your care, your provision, the provision of your household, they're responsible to be submissive to you and to do what you desire in that, in, that, in that way. What I want to make clear to my young person, if they're not converted and they're bucking against the idea of going to church, is I want to make clear, I don't imagine that taking you to church is going to make you a Christian. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, it's an opportunity to explain the gospel to them. I'm not asking you to pretend that you love things that I love. I can't ask you to do that. What, I'm a- what I am asking you to do is to be respectful. And so as we attend church, as you go with me, though you're, I mean, it sounds like this young girl's claiming to be a Christian Mm -hmm. or at least wanting to, Mm -hmm. you know, indicate that she is. But sometimes you're going to meet with a young person who just says, I don't believe. But you can still respect my authority as your father and you can still be respectful in the way that you attend the Lord's church. So I'm not thinking that this converts you. I'm praying for your conversion. I'm working for your conversion Mm -hmm. in the sense of sharing the gospel with you. 
but only the Lord can change your heart. The clearer we can be with our children about what salvation is and how it happens, uh, the better we serve them. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Straight Truth Podcast. Now, if you've made an observation or have a question related to this episode, just leave that in the comments section below. Now, be sure to go to our website, straighttruth.net. There you will find a host of information, including links to all of our social media channels like Facebook and Twitter. And if you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to like it and share it with family and friends. Lastly, go to the podcast section of iTunes and leave us a review. Now remember, Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, the preaching and teaching ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. For more information, go to walkingingrace.org.